follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. It is a privilege to follow him. It is a responsibility to become a fisher of men. It's not that we learn how to fish for men on our own. It's that we follow him. As a rough, tough preacher who's done a great work for God up in the lumber camp, up in the extreme northern areas, hard, hard working man. One occasion he was flying up to one of these northern reaches in the middle of the winter. He was sitting beside a businessman. And they started to talk, and uh, he asked the businessman what he did. He was in mining equipment. He was going up to sell some equipment up in this mine. Then he said to the preacher, uh, what are you doing? Oh, he said, I'm going fishing. He said, fishing, man? Everything's frozen solid. What do you mean fishing? That's what I'm doing, going fishing. He said, have you ever been up in the north before? I said, well, sure. Have you ever gone fishing in the north in the wintertime? Oh, I do it all the time. I said, is that right? He says, uh, what do you catch? Oh, he says, I catch real big ones. He says, that's right. The fellow was silent for a few minutes, and then he said, uh, well, like, what kind of fish do you catch? Well, he said, actually, when I catch them, they're dead. But uh, once they're caught, they're, they're alive. He said, come on, you're, you're, you're putting me on, aren't you? He said, well, sort of. And he poured into that man's heart the glorious gospel message. What a wonderful privilege we have to follow him. But if we follow him, he'll take us by way of Calvary, won't he? He'll cause us to see through his eyes the multitudes in their desperate need. He'll change our hearts and our longings and our dreams and our ideas about what true riches are. And we will have the blessed privilege of being associated with him in the greatest of all works, in the building of this magnificent edifice that is the home of God, established forever and filled with the glory of God.